Hello everyone and uh, I welcome you all in another video of our lecture series. So in this video we are going to learn about insertion in a circular linkless. So in the previous video we learned about what is a circular linkless. Let's uh, have a quick revision of it. Yeah. So if these are the nodes of a linkless, these will be linked like 10 will be linked to 20. 20 would be linked to 30, 30 would be linked to 40, but 40 would uh, be linked to back to 10. Thus, this part forming a circle. Okay. Now, uh, we have to learn how to insert in a linked list. Meaning, uh, if I insert 0 in the beginning, so our linked list would look like this. Alright. And 40 will now link to 0. Okay. So, um, you might be thinking this is, this is an easy question. But it is a little bit tricky. Because, see, what is it the problem here exactly is that in our singly linked list, we can just simply you know insert 0 let's suppose this is our linked list and this is our first element and we can just simply link it and return this as head right this is what we do in singly linked list and doubly linked list but in this 0 should or uh, like the last element which here it's 40 should point to 0 and how to do this thing is slight tricky then all right so okay you can have uh, one thing well let me tell you a trick which you can use and trust me it is very good okay so suppose this is a linked list Yes. Let's link it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is a link list. right now how to insert zero at the beginning that is our question so um, very basic you know very good idea that I can give you here is suppose here I insert zero somewhere here okay what will happen and will be pointing towards 0 and 0 will be pointing towards 20 all right and i'll just swap these values that means 0 10 20 it would be 30 and 40 and 40 will be pointing towards 0 okay let's try and run its code here let's have a little zoom in okay yeah so let's um, try and write our beginning function so let's do it like we do every time we'll have the full insertion let's put this okay so let's insert b node started 
will write C out after insertion okay and we'll simply display head here okay now let's okay yeah let's try to write this function hmm Okay, let's write it here. Node star insert B node star head. We have a node temp. We didn't write the element, so let's make it in x new node x, and here it is going to be zero. Okay. Suppose if head is equal to null. We are going to have. Temps next as temp and simply return temp. Or what we are going to do here is we are going to first of all add temp between head and its next. Okay. This basically code the depict that we are in. Yeah. This code tells us that uh, we are inserting temp between head and uh, head sex. All right. Now here what we are going to have int. We are just simply writing a swap swap algorithm. Hmm. So see what we're doing here exactly is this function like this algorithm these lines of code tells that we're inserting temp between our head and heads next and in this part what we are we are just simply swapping the values of our head and temp and since the new like x is at head so we are just simply returning the head now uh, let's try and run this code okay see before insertion our code is 10 20 30 and 40 and after insertion and after insertion the code is 0 10 20 30 and 40 this is the required output okay now let's do one thing okay so we like inserted and all but now let's see insertion in the end Okay. 
Okay, before writing our insert end function, let's try and see how we can have it. Okay, so this is our link list. Yeah. And the new one should look like. It should uh, return to uh, 10. Okay. Okay. So now try and think how like you can write this code. Okay. A slight hint if I give you the thing we did in the insert at the beginnings. Uh, question the same thing would be applied here okay so let me tell you what you can do is you can simply insert 50 here okay yes 20 here 30 here 50 and this will be pointing towards here. Now since you're going to swap 50 and 10, 50 would be pointing towards here, and then we pointing towards here. And if I return this element, and it's next, so this would be the last element, yes. So we will write this code here. We will copy this part from the return head like from the insert. Okay. And we will have insert move star head index. Yeah. Okay. Head insert and let's into 50 in the end. Okay. Okay. So what uh, are we going to be? So deep here. Okay. We said the C code of insert E where we have we where we got uh, temp node where we stored value of x and then in this part what we did was we inserted element x between head and its next and here we uh, exchange the data of head and temp and here we are simply going to return head next right that means we are returning the return head here let's try out with this code Okay, see before insertion it's 10, 20, 30, 40 and after insertion it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. So I guess you learned how to insert data in a circular link list. It was slightly different from what we did in uh, singly link list and uh, double link list. And in the next video we are going to look at insertion in the end. Uh, deletion in our circle unit list and after that we are going to look at few of the interview questions okay that's it for this video uh, thank you for watching see you next time